I played basketball at Lebanon High School, and not to brag or boast or be conceited by any means, but when I come out of high school in 1979, I had 900 scholarship offers to pretty much attend any school that I please, but I chose the University of Kentucky, uh, being that basketball is a way of life here, and not only did I know that I was going to be playing for the University of Kentucky, but also that this is the horse capital of the world. In between classes, and I want Coach Hall, if you're listening to this interview, knowing that I did attend all my classes, but in between classes, I would stick my head in over at this uh, facility called the Red Mow, and I saw these horses going around this track with these buggies. I called them buggies. Little did I know, later on, they're called sulkies, but I saw these horses with these buggies, and uh, I was fascinated by the whole uh, procedure. Coming out of college in 1984, uh, I was the second pick in the NBA draft. Um, the first pick was a guy named Hakeem Olajuwon, and the third guy was, uh, I forget his name, I think it was Michael Jordan, somebody like that. But I always joke with Michael about being selected before him, and I always tell him if he would have never become the player he is, I wouldn't have to hear this ridicule about how was I selected before Michael Jordan. I wound up playing 11 years of professional basketball. I had some setbacks as far as injuries are concerned. And I think that's another thing that draws me to the uh, standard bread industry is these horses are athletes. Uh, there's a lot of preparation that goes in before they actually get behind the gate, injuries being part of them, uh, part of the uh, process. And me being a former athlete, knowing what it takes, uh, you need some luck, you need to be sound, you need to be healthy, so to say. and. Um, I look at all these horses as athletes. This is my big mare here. This is the Abercrombie. She was the first uh, horse I ever bought back in 1984, my first year in the uh, NBA. I love jogging uh, horses, and if they happen to be my own, it makes it much, that much more special because you know, as you're sitting behind there, I'm visualizing that I'm the John Campbell, and I'm sitting in a hole and I'm just waiting for somebody to flush me out, and then I come out and I just get up right at the wire. So uh, all that uh, daydreaming goes on when I'm jogging horses. I don't think Mike Lachance and John Campbell and Jackie Moe have to worry about me uh, coming into their world and trying to bump them off of some of their uh, drives. Uh, uh, their job is secure. I think I'd rather guard Shaquille than drive one of these things in a race, though. <laughs> You know, in 1984 here in Kentucky, Sam Bowie led the Wildcats to the Final Four. I have a funny feeling, Gary, he would trade it all in to be out there with the big boys. You mean the guys like Campbell, Lachance, and Moiseev, as he mentioned in the piece there, and all those NBA stars, you know, they're riding in big stretch limos. That man <laughs> is riding in a stretch jog cart. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's keep with that Kentucky theme.